Gives it to Coutinho. On loan from Barcelona. He could be knocking his Piero club out. Lewandowski's one-on-one. Oh, Lewandowski almost made it. What's going on, guys? My name is Adam. I am a super swan. And welcome to episode 8 of the Bayern Beta Save. You might be wondering why I'm dressed in a yellow bear outfit. It's because I'm recording this on Children in Need Day. So even though this isn't going out on the Friday of Children in Need, it's going out afterwards. I'm just not going to take the onesie off, all right? I'm comfortable in my pudsy bear onesie. I am sticking with it. So we're going to roll with it. We are dressed up as Pudsy Bear in today's episode. So we are going up against Barcelona in the second leg of our Champions League knockout round. We are 4-2 up, so we need to try and avoid conceding any away goals. As far as the league goes, we are six points clear at the top of the league. Although, to be fair, Leipzig, Bayer Leverkusen and Dortmund all have a game in hand over us. So that's six-point lead could be cut down to just three points. If we look at the schedule since you last left us, we have played three games. It was a disappointing 2-2 draw against Hoffenheim. We beat Leipzig 1-0 in the, the Pokal quarterfinal. And we did beat Augsburg 5-0 at home to set us up for an away game against Barcelona. We will also be playing Union Berlin in the Bundesliga. So this is going to be the lineup for the second leg against Barcelona. We've got Neuer in goal, Alaba, Sule, Pavard and Kimmich at the back. Thiago and Goretzka in the middle with Coutinho, Eriksen and Kingsley Coman on the right hand side. And we're going to have Robert Lewandowski leading the line. As long as we don't lose by two goes to nil, we should be okay we should reach the quarterfinals. But it is Barcelona we're talking about. It is the new Camp. So we've got to be very careful with how we play this game. So I'm going to give a, a calm. The media have given you a lot of credit lately. Prove them why you are the team to beat. So it is the Champions League round of 16. Second leg against Barcelona at the new Camp. 29 minutes in our first highlight of this game. As Alaba... Comes inside to Thiago. Christian Eriksen, our January transfer. There's a move on the left-hand side, but we do go in the middle instead. Thiago switches flanks to Kingsley Coman, the hero of the first leg. Kimmich to Thiago. Plays into Christian Eriksen. Bayern keeping the ball really well here. Alaba's in the box, but he hits it against the side net in. Very poor choice from him. 38 minutes, it's Jordi Alba from the throw. Goretzka trying to close down Sergio Roberto, but he gives it to Frankie de Jong. Good press in here from Bayern Munich. We're pushing them back, but they are still hanging on to the ball. And they have to go all the way back to to Steigen, who plays it low to Sergio Roberto. Lovely ball to Messi. Messi's in the box. He takes a shot, but Manuel Neuer with the save. And we are going into halftime looking like it's going to be nil-nil which is absolutely fine by me. I will take a nil-nil at the new Camp as we will go into the quarter-final of the Champions League. Sule does lose the ball, though, but we have won it back. We can hopefully start from the back here. Or is that going to be the end of the highlight? Is there a goal in this game? Kingsley Coburn breezes past the fullback. He's got a player in the middle. Fies Lewandowski takes a touch. He puts it in the net. And that is is an away goal, and it also makes it 5-2 on aggregate against Barcelona. They've now got to score three goals if they want to qualify. And if we score one more goal, we will even up the away goals as well. So Bayern Munich strike on the counter-attack. And we are going to go into half-time, hopefully, 1-0 up. But we are on 43 minutes, and we've got another highlight here. Goretzka. Plays it to Thiago. He's got lots of room to find Coutinho. Back to Thiago. Lovely ball to Alaba. Can he cross it? He does. Finds Thiago outside the area. Thiago's running the show at the moment. He's always involved with the play. He's like the heartbeat of this team. But we do have to all go all the way back to Neuer. Who gives it to Alaba. Bayern Munich playing good possession football here. We're holding on to it. 
Just don't make any silly mistakes that Barcelona can capitalise off. Neuer gives it to Coutinho on loan from Barcelona. He could be knocking his peer club out. Lewandowski's one-on-one. Oh, Lewandowski almost made it 2-0 to Bayern Munich. And we've already had one shot on target. I'm going to give a very happy with the way things are going. Keep it up. I'm not going to change anything for the second half. Maybe the Pudsy outfit is doing wonders for this team. 54 minutes. About half an hour to go. Well, 35 minutes. Barca have got to score three goals. And they're not going to score with a goal like that from Jordi Alba. 67 minutes. Kingsley Coleman has been picked up a knock. He did pick up a knock at the start of the game, to be fair. So I think I'm going to bring on Thomas Muller to play on that right-hand side. Kimmich is looking tired. is on a knock as well. So I think I'm going to move Pavard out to right-back. And we'll bring on Jerome Boateng as a centre-back as well. So double change. Boss, I've got to score three goals. 80 minutes. 10 minutes to go. Barcelona have got to score three. I don't think they're going to do it in 10 minutes. As Arturo Vidal to Arthur. Lovely long ball to Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba approaching the goal. But Neuer with the easy save. And it's been all Bayern Munich in this game. 84 minutes. When I said all Bayern Munich, I meant, you know, the way the game's been all Bayern. I don't think Barcelona have really been in this game. The only chances they've really had have been like easy setters or side netting. But then we haven't had that many ourselves. It's been a very, you know, very cautious game. But Neuer plays it to Coutinho. Gives a streak to Rakitic, but he wins the ball back. As Eriksen now, Suarez to Ousmane Dembele. Dembele coming up on the goal. He does put it in the back of the net. He scored in the first leg. He's made it 1-1. But Barcelona have to score two more goals if they're going to qualify for the round of eight, or commonly known as the quarterfinals. But Dembele does grab a goal. I think at this point it's more of a consolation goal. Let's hope we don't throw her away in the last 10 minutes. 88 minutes. Barcelona know they've got to score two more goals. Let's hope we don't throw this away. Arthur with a shot. Not testing Neuer. We should see this out for the rest of the match. Like I say, as long as we don't do anything stupid. If we grab another goal, it's game over 100%. But Jordi Alba's won that ball. He's on the left-hand side. He's been very involved for Barcelona. Sule hoofs it clear. And it's all Barcelona in these last few moments because they know they've got to score two goals. If they don't score those goals, they are out of the Champions League. Lewandowski to Thiago. He's got some room for Alaba on that left-hand side. Beats his man. Alaba, he's got some room here. Not quite sure what he was trying to do there, but Goretzka's won the ball. I think he was trying to put it in the centre. But it was a very poor cross. Thiago, Lewandowski's on his own, he puts it in the net, and that is 2-1 to Bayern Munich on the night, 6-3 overall, I had to check the score then, 6-3, and that is game over for Barcelona, we've equaled the away goals, Lewandowski, since Pelotti's come in, he has just been absolutely on fire, it's almost like he's brought the real Lewandowski out of him, and that is going to knock Barcelona out of the Champions League. We are in the quarterfinals. I think we have finally turned a corner with this Bayern Munich side. I'm going to give a passionate, very happy with the way you played. We had a rocky start to this bait to save. We just couldn't score goals. But now Robert Lewandowski is showing why he is the main striker at Bayern Munich. Kingsley Cohen's out for two days. We get some money. Thiago put in a good performance. I'm going to say I'm really happy with the way he played. And if we look at the competitions, that will seal a place in the Champions League quarterfinals with Manchester City, Bayern Munich, Liverpool, Atletico Madrid, probably Lyon, probably PSG. Real Madrid and Chelsea can go either way, as can Spurs and Inter Milan. So I think what we'll do is we'll either come back for the quarterfinal draw... Or we'll play Union Berlin in the Bundesliga. We have had a youth intake at Bayern Munich. And I thought I'd show it off as it is a slight... Well, it's not a new feature, but they've retweaked how it's all displayed to you. So we have had our 
sort of match against the under-19s. I think the best player we've had so far is Jochen Roth, who can play as a winger. He's a one-star current ability. Four-and-a-half star could be five. Well, he's definitely a three-and-a-half star, but could be a four-and-a-half star potential player. And if we have a look at the development centre, and we show off the youth candidates, this is what it looks like when you have a youth intake. We've got a Welsh shirt. Colin Brown has come through as well. So, you know, representing Wales alongside the manager. But this is the new youth development screen. And as you can see, we've got a fairly decent intake. Roth, Muller, Fick, and even these ones can be, you know, would be decent sign-ins. But it's all under one screen now under the development centre. And Herman Gerland is going to be the man to manage that side. So I thought I'd show that off. I mean, like I said, we're only going to be here for one season, so we're not really going to see these players because, you know, we're one and done, really. But, you know, that's what it looks like. We'll ask the director of football to make the sign-ins. So that is what the youth candidate screen looks like. Rotate side for the Union Berlin game. We've got Manuel Neuer in goal, Alaba, Pavar, Boatang, and Kimmich at the back. Goretzka and Taliso start in the middle with Perisic, Muller and Nabry as our attacking playmakers. And Balotti's going to lead the line. He needs to show why he's the number one striker because Lewandowski is on the form of his life. So Andrea Balotti, our new sign-in, needs to stake a place for a first team position. So at the moment... Lewandowski's keeping him out but this is going to be the perfect game for him to show why we did spend all that money on him in January as Bayern Munich will have the chance to go how many points clear nine points clear I think nine points clear at the top of the Bundesliga as we do get an early highlight Bayern playing in white again as we come into Taliso in the middle plays it to Serge Nabry beats his man in the box but it's a good slide tackle from the Berlin defender. As Goretzka now, we recycle the move. Thomas Muller, lovely short pass in here. Lovely balls. Kimmich is there. Can he cross it? No, he loses the ball. That's a shame. We played really good football up until there. But Boatang's lost the ball. Uja's through on goal. But he blasted over the bar. Jerome Boatang, you are a liability. Eight minutes in. We start with a goal kick from the Union Berlin goalkeeper as Alaba heads it on to chase. But rap for Dietz, Becker, and it's all Union Berlin on the ball. Uja again, he's got pace. He's beat his man, but Neuer is there to make that save. It's all Union Berlin right now. 17 minutes of shout to demand more because Union Berlin are bottom of the league. This should be a cakewalk for this Bayern Munich side. But 17 minutes in, and it does look to be all Union Berlin. All the highlights are for them. I mean, we've had the possession, but we've only had one shot all game. We played some good short passing at the start, but that's no good if we can't get the ball in the back of the net. So I think I might have to go a little bit more direct if I can't get a result here. But they threw again. Cardi's through, but puts it wide. I mean, they should have scored two goals in this game. 22 minutes. And at the moment, I think I'm watching the Union Berlin show because all the highlights are for them. And they've beaten us again over the top. Ujar's through. And if it wasn't for Manuel Neuer, we, we need to do something with this defensive line because they, they are having some balls over the top. So we're going to bring the line a little bit further back because they are abusing us over the top. I'm going to go positive because we might be throwing too many players forward. But Manuel Neuer's keeping us in this game. As we get a throw in. Come on, boys. Do something. This is Union Berlin. They're bottom of the league. They are showing us up right now. I know we're away from home. But still. Kimba Kimmich on the ball. Can we amount to something here? He beats his man. Can he get a ball in? Or is he going to play it short? Plays it to Goretzka. Can he make something happen here? Kimmich. He's got some room in the box here. Plays it to Goretzka. Back to Kimmich. Take the shot, somebody. Somebody take the shot. There we go. Thomas Muller gets the first goal. We have to work very hard for that goal, I will say. But I think a few tactical tweaks, and we did manage to get the ball in the back of the net. And I think Union Berlin are probably playing a lot better than Barcelona did. We seem to show up against the big teams. But then when it comes to the lower teams, they just don't want to know. But we are winning up. Thomas Muller grabbing the goal. 
Let's get a few more goals in to seal these three points. 40 minutes, five minutes to go before half time. That's Muller on the ball to Taliso. I would like a second goal before the break, just to get you know, a bit more comfort, a bit more space between the two sides. But Goretzka plays as a Thomas Muller. Short pass in between the midfielders and the advanced playmaker. But we do lose the ball. But we've got it back, so that's okay. But I think Union Berlin are playing a lot more direct than we are. They're just lumping it long ball and exposing our defence. But we haven't been exposed since we changed the tactic. So we seem to be doing all right for the moment. But Kimmich to Nabry. Loads of players to choose from. But Lottie's the man. And he's put it in the back of the net. And he, between him and Lewandowski... He needs to show why he needs to be that number one striker. But we have got that second goal. And I will put a bit more space between us and Union Berlin in this game. Nabry has so many players to choose from. But Lottie taps it in. Easiest goal he's probably going to score. And we are 2-0 up against Union Berlin going into half time. The first half an hour, it was all them. But we have come back. We did make some slight, slight tweaks to the tactic. And we have got two goals. So we're going to say put on a worthy display. And I think what we'll do is we will make some subs here. Leon Goretzka. I know he's playing a 7.9. But he is looking very tired out there. Well, I say very tired. 79%. So I think we'll bring on... No, we'll leave him on. We'll leave him on for now. Although it does concern me that both of my centre-backs are on bookings. But I'm going to leave it the same for now. We'll see how the second half goes. 67 minutes, very quiet second half so far. This is the first highlight we've had. And it's going to be Alaba from left back. Crosses it in for Nabry. But Taliso will recycle. Thomas Muller to Goretzka. The midfield players have had a lot of time on the ball in this game. Because I don't think they are playing very defensive. You can see a lot of players playing behind the ball. So our midfielders are going to get a lot of possession. But Kimmich has a shot. Ooh, Joshua Kimmich. He does have a shot on him. 72 minutes. Let's make some subs. I am worried that P Pavard, Boatang, and Neuer are all on bookings. So I'm going to bring Pavard off and I'll bring Sule on. Just so that our whole back line isn't booked. Uh, Goretzka, I am going to make that change. Thiago's going to come on for you. I think that's going to be it for now. Only the two changes. Roughly about 15 minutes to go. 80 minutes. 10 minutes to full time. Joshua Kimmich. Can he cross it? Low cross to Muller. That's a foul. And that is going to be a penalty. Or is he going to go to VAR? Nope, he's given the penalty. And Alaba's going to have the chance from the spot to make it 3-0 to Bayern Munich. Can he seal the deal? He cannot. He fluffs his lines. Cannot finish his dinner. David Alaba, you had the chance to make it 3. But in all fairness, I think the points are very safely wrapped up. 83 minutes. Alaba from the throw. Missed the penalty. But Perisic back to Alaba. Loses the ball. That's a foul. I think Union Berlin are going down to 10 men. They are down to 10 men. We might as well see the rest of this game all together. 87 minutes. Oof. Off the crossbar. They do score. Hang on. This game is not over yet. Union Berlin from the free kick. He shoots. Comes off the crossbar. And it's an easy tap in for Gettner. This game is not over. 2-1. Coming up to full time. I think the game is over. There's the final whistle. So they do grab a consolation goal. To be fair, I'd say they deserve it. They have played really good football today. But ultimately, Bayern Munich do get the win. I was going to say, that was a Jekyll and Hyde performance. A few of the players are upset, but... You know, we should be hammering a team that's bottom of the league. Taliso has now made almost 50 appearances. Goretzka had an assist. So I can say you are superb with the quality of chances. And we are now 12 games unbeaten in the Bundesliga. So as far as the league table goes, we are currently, what, nine points clear at the top. Although a lot of play, well, they have two games in hand over us, really. So that could be come down to three points. So the only thing that's left to show is the Champions League quarter-final draw. Here we go. It's the Champions League quarter-final draw. And here are the teams that are in the pot. We've got Atletico Madrid, Chelsea, Bayern Munich, Liverpool, Manchester City, 
Leon, PSG, and Spurs. So we've got four English teams. Four English teams, two French teams, a German and a Spanish side. So Real Madrid and Barcelona knocked out. There are a few big teams left. So we're going to go automatic draw. And who are Bayern Munich going to get? Manchester City will play. Atletico Madrid. We've got Bayern Munich will play. PSG. So we will be going up against Neymar, Mbappe and co. And we have to get past them if we are to reach the semi-finals of the Champions League. And I'm pretty sure we get to do the semi-final draw as well. So if I view the draw, yes, we do. So if we do an automatic draw for the semi-finals, who are we going to get? So let's have a look. So we will play the winners of Spurs and Chelsea. So we have to play... If we're going to reach the Champions League final... We've got to beat PSG and Spurs or Chelsea in the semi-finals. So we know our path to the final. We just got to make sure we do the business. So there we go. Bayern Munich, PSG, blockbuster quarter-final. And we need to make sure we get that sorted. So I think what we'll do for next episode, we will come back for... We're going to go unconventional. We're going to come back for the second leg of the PSG game, followed by the Pokal semi-final against Borussia Dortmund. So two cup games next episode, the second leg of the Champions League and the semi-final of the German DFB Pokal semi-finals. So there we go. I'll leave you with the lay of the land. So Bayer Leverkusen, one game in hand over us, which if they do win, they will go three points behind us. So we are looking pretty comfortable at the top of the Bundesliga. But we are going to focus next time on our quarterfinal second leg against PSG. Along with our DFB Pokal semi-final against Borussia Dortmund. But leave a like if you enjoy, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2020 content. We will be uploading the Bayern Beta every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 6pm GMT. We will finish this season, even though the full game is out by the time this does drop. So we will probably go to the end of the month with the Bayern Beta before we crack on with our main save going forward. But big episode next time, guys. It's the second leg against PSG and the Pokal semi-final against Dortmund. Thank you very much for watching.